Here it comes. Swings out. Bitterman over near it, and it'll come off to the near side. Rams right back on it. Grenode crosses it back in. Headed off the crossbar. Racing up from behind was Bitterman. He couldn't get there in time to try and get a second look. Comes the free kick. Long distance right on top of the six. It is held in. far. Uh, make that near side. Crossed in again. Headed away by Bakoe. Long distance drive by Bakoe. Blocked down. Great save by Braley, and it's cleared away. Another try. From distance, it's knocked away by Braley again. Park to the far side. Now in the middle, Lewis. He tries another shot, and this time it's dived on in time by Braley. Three great saves in a row. Akers. The referee's got to do something to take control of this game. Fouls like that, they're just going to keep happening if the referee doesn't do something. Here comes Ollie Kelly. Plays it far side. Shot. Score! Bitterman with 140 to go in overtime number one. The Rams take this game 1-0. We're here with sophomore goalkeeper Sean Braley of the Florida men's soccer team following the Rams. 1-0 overtime win over the Manhattan College Jaspers. Sean, you guys come up with the big overtime win. Talk about the team's effort today. Uh, again, a really tough Manhattan club coming in here to Jack Coffee Field. Uh, it's been a, it was a com complete team effort the whole game. It was a dogfight back and forth through that whole game. We, we knew if we just got one goal, we knew we could end it. It just happened to be overtime with the game. One of the big moments, I think, was early in the first half. Manhattan put on some sustained pressure, came up with a couple of big saves there, and got a good defensive clear. Talk about that that kind of sequence there where you got to come up with two big saves back-to-back -back right in a row. Yeah, we knew coming into the game it was going to be a slick field, so we knew if I just made the first save, the defense would just clear out the second and all the rebounds. And They played a great game today. They helped me out the whole time. You guys finish out of conference play, above 500, 4 3 and 1, heading into conference play next week. What did it mean to come away with the win tonight in the Battle of the Bronx? It was a great, it was a great feeling. We knew, we knew we had to get a lot of momentum going into conference. It was a big year, and we feel like we can make a great run with this team. Great. Thanks a lot, Sean. Congrats on the win. Thanks. We're here with freshman Kyle Bitterman of the Florida men's soccer team after the 1 0 overtime win over Manhattan College on Friday night. Kyle, you get the game winner in overtime for your first career goal. Talk about the goal. Uh, well, Mike Valencia stole the ball in the middle of the field and uh, he played the ball on uh, Ollie Kelly and Ollie just slid me a nice little ball and I just had a tight finish. What did it mean to kind of pick up that goal in overtime? Again, a highly contested match, real tight. Again, very physical play from both teams all night long. Yeah, it was huge. I mean, we knew that one goal pretty much against this team we would have won it because it's just how they, the style of the play is. But yeah, it just felt great getting the win in overtime. Scoring that goal, it felt great. Guys head on the road for conference play to start next weekend. What do you take away from this win to carry it over into next week? Uh, well, Jim's talking about just having a winning mentality, and we really needed this one to just make ourselves roll into conference play. It's just really important to win that, this game, so it just gives them momentum for, the, for conference play. All right, thanks a lot, Kyle. Congrats on the goal, and congrats on the win. Thank you.